What's up guys, it's Sean with another Primal Path tutorial. We're going to talk about uh, making movements that flow, smooth movements in After Effects. And uh, it's a lot easier than it was before nowadays. But uh, here I'll go into After Effects and uh, we'll show you the traditional way you could uh, do smooth movements. So you have two keyframes on a, a scale up here, or a move. Position doesn't matter, but I'll show you. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Just basic scales up. Um, the old way would be you could select it, and if you wanted to make it smooth, uh, right click do your two keyframes, go to Keyframe Assistant, and then go to Easy Ease, and that's the basic approach to making smooth movements. It just it puts an ease on everything. And what we could do is we can go into the graph editor. If you click down here, this little uh, graph editor button. And you can see what it's done to the keyframes. It's it's it basically put a Bezier curve on it. And we can manually go in now and we can play around here. We could drag this all the way up, and then you can see what that does to the movement. It's kind of like an exponential movement. It starts slow and then gets faster as it gets to the end. And we can just do that by messing around with the graph editor. Which isn't that hard. I mean, it's it's always nice to know how to use the graph editor and how to manipulate keyframes yourself. But there's this new tool for, uh, from actionscripts.com, aescripts.com, right here, and it's called Ease and Wiz. And you could go to this website and download it actually for free. Uh, you basically can name your own price, and it suggests fifteen dollars. I mean. If you find this tool has changed your uh, workflow and actually helped you quite a bit, I would definitely suggest uh, sending this guy some money. I knew a couple friends that sent them like $20 and he was super stoked, the guy who created this tool, because he doesn't usually get money. But either way, if you're cheap and you're just a student, you can get it for free. Just hit $0 and download it and it comes with instructions how to do it. And there's other good videos that uh, showcase what Ease and Wiz does. Going back into After Effects. So this is the traditional way of manipulating keyframes. Uh, I'll go into my other comp here that I use Ease and Wiz on, and I'll show you what it looks like. And yeah, nice and flow. And that I didn't have to do any graph editing for this. It was all Ease and Wiz. And uh, yeah, that's the final product. And it looks nice, right? And it was super simple to do. All we have to do is let's create a new comp here, and I'll show you. We'll demonstrate this. All right, layer, new. Wait, what am I doing here? All right, let's go. Let's go make a circle. Nice crispy circle, but with the same size as before. And we're gonna put a keyframe. We're gonna go to scale. You can hit S for scale, by the way. And we're gonna bring it down to 0% and hit this stopwatch button which will set a keyframe and so now it's keyframed at 0 nothing's happening and then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna make this nice and fast a little intro movement go to like around 3 seconds and then hit 100% on scale and it'll automatically keyframe for you that's how easy animating stuff is in After Effects and like we've seen already if you've watched that pretty, I don't know, it's basic, nothing special about it, you know, like, I don't think people are going to really applaud you for that, but, um, let's go here and drag this down, but what we're going to do is we're going to apply ease and width, we're going to select both keyframes, and then I have ease and width set up right here in the window, super simple to do, and you have different options, and they all do different things, but, uh, what we can do is set exponential and you could choose if you want it on your first keyframe or your last keyframe or you could do in and out and for this case I'm going to do in and out and we're going to hit apply and then we're going to preview this and like look look how beautiful that is just comes in so smooth oh that's what ease and whiz is all about it's just the ease of use like you you can keep the uh, keyframe selected and you can change it up. You can go to uh, Try Elastic, hit Apply, and then preview that again. And it has that sort of uh, 
It has a bounce to it, you know what I mean? And all this is possible in the graph editor, but ease and whiz is basically just completely eliminating that entire step and it's giving you a super easy tool to just make smooth movements on any kind of keyframes. You can do this on any keyframes. It could be a position keyframe or anything. Hit bounce and we'll just go on uh, out keyframe because we want it to bounce when it comes in. Hit preview, see what this looks like. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Get some uh, motion blur going on here, make it even more smooth. And yeah, that's basically it. Ease and whiz, folks. Uh, yeah, go download it for free right now if you want. And then, like I said, I suggest you uh, maybe drop the guy a couple dollars if it, you know, maybe increased your workflow or uh, changed your life in any way. Thanks, guys. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Primal Path. Peace.